he specifically asked, so how is your solar project coming? Which I thought was pretty impressive that of all that the president is responsible for. Driving down the Loop 202 in Phoenix, Arizona, on the horizon, you can see the borders of the Gila River Indian community. A tribal nation known for its innovation has just made history again. This particular project, what we call the Casablanca Solar Over Canal Project, is about 3,000 feet long. It's on either side of Interstate 10, so it's highly visible to traffic, either east or westbound traffic going in or out of Phoenix. We project that we will generate about 1.3 megawatts of power. The Gila River Indian community has built a solar panel covered canal, the first ever in the Western Hemisphere. With tribal nations being on the front lines of climate change, it is becoming paramount to find ways to create renewable energies and avoid fossil fuels. George Cairo, the principal engineer of this design, said this project has many benefits, one of which is offsetting fossil fuels. You really have to look at the source of energy that this solar energy offsets, right? And so, depending on where you're getting your power, that's, they have a portfolio. And so they may be getting uh, energy from a coal-fired plant or something else. So if you're able to replace that energy with this green energy, you're also helping to combat climate change and conserve water as well. The Sonoran Desert gets more than 300 days of sunshine a year, perfect for solar energy. We have in excess of 250 miles of canal. If we were to cover even half of that with solar panels, we would have far more power than the community could ever use. We could export power. The current Casablanca solar panel project is in a five-year study where they will gather data. If the entire 250 plus miles of canal were lined with solar panels, it will be more than enough to power Gila River Indian community. And of course, green credits, carbon credits, uh, they're in high demand. We know that there are outside entities that would be very interested in purchasing this green renewable energy. So we think it's, it, it's the wave of the future, and certainly it's the wave of the community's future. Not only will the solar panels create energy for the community, but it will also help in combating water loss from the harsh Arizona sun. The initial reports demonstrated that we could reduce evaporative losses by about 46%. More recent data is coming out suggesting it could be as high as 65%. If we were to cover the entire 16 miles of the Casablanca Canal, over a 25 year period, we'd save 9,000 acre feet of water conservatively because we think we're gonna conserve more water through evaporative savings because we believe it's now going to be greater than 46% reduction. There are two parts of the Casablanca solar panel project separated by the highway that bisects Gila River. On one side of the bridge, solar panels are supported by galvanized steel coated in zinc to prevent corrosion while on the other side, they are supported by ungalvanized steel. As part of the demonstration project, we're using the same steel. The only difference on the east side is we galvanized it. And again, the intent is to determine rusting of the steel, what will be the effect over a 25 year period. We'll measure it for five years. What kind of effect does the water have on the steel? raw steel versus galvanized. Every part of this project was carefully thought about to maximize the use of the canal and the land on which it is on. The idea behind solar panels, first of all, in Arizona, all this sunshine makes perfect sense. But beyond that, Governor Lewis was really interested in it because it's compatible with the values of the community, of using the resources that nature has provided to us, being a good steward of the land, we looked at, and Governor Lewis concurred with us on, the idea that the, the canals already exist, so the land is already disturbed. If we put solar panels over a canal, we don't take up any additional land. This project, which is set to deliver power to the grid in September 2024, was funded by the Biden administration through the Inflation Reduction Act. In an effort to make Gila River more self-sufficient, they are taking the means of producing energy into their own hands while simultaneously transitioning from fossil fuels to green energy. For ICT, Daniel Herrera Carbajal.